when carbohydrates burn, they yield carbon and water. And so that's why the name carbohydrates comes from carbon and water. Now, carbohydrates include sugars and starches. And so sugars and starches are the main source of energy that your body uses. So you can see that carbohydrates are very important. Now, there's three basic types of carbohydrates I want to go over. First being monosaccharides. It's a really long word. It has compli a complicated spelling with two C's in a row. But more important than the spelling is what a monosaccharide is. So it's a simple sugar such as glucose, fructose, and ribose. Now, we call these sugars monomers because these sugars are monomers for more complex ones. And so notice here in monosaccharides we have the prefix mono, which means one. And then I just mentioned that these are monomers, which has that prefix again of mono meaning one. Now you may be familiar with polymers, which has the prefix of poly, which means more than one. So basically these sugars are monomers for more complex molecules. So these are single molecules that are the building blocks to be able to join together with other molecules to form polymers. So remember that because we're going to talk about that more in a little bit. So the second type of carbohydrate is a disaccharide, which is a double sugar such as sucrose, maltose, and lactose. Now sucrose is what we would call table sugar. So it's the type of sugar you use for everyday use, for baking, coffee, that sort of thing. Now the third type of carbohydrate is starches, which are large biological polymers that consist of straight or branched chains of monosaccharides linked together. So let's go ahead and break that down because that's kind of complicated. So these are large biological polymers. So we see that prefix of more than one. And remember, I talked about these being monomers. They're going to join together to form the polymers. And so we see that played out right here because these monomers join together to form polymers. And we even see that confirmed or spoken of again later in this definition. These polymers consist of straight or branched chains of monosaccharides linked together. So starches are basically made up of monosaccharides linked together either in straight or branched chains. Now in complex sugars, the monosaccharide monomers combine by condensation reactions where water is removed in the form of a hydrogen atom from one monosaccharide and a hydroxyl group from an adjacent monosaccharide. So that's a look at the three types of carbohydrates. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.